Thank you very much. I have been visiting Trinity University on and out, as you saw from the pictures, for quite a few years. And I've always felt very much at home here. And one of the reasons I have felt at home is that of the many places in which I have spoken, this is one of the very few in which I can speak as a believing Christian. And that, to me, has been a source of great strength and great pleasure. And to be honored in this way is more than I could ever conceivably had expected. The idea of something in the order of books, if any of you know me, is an idea that could not be surpassed. The idea of being remembered in a library. Because I have always dreamed of Cicero's dream of a perfect home, which would be a library in a garden. Now, I know you can't put that in the garden, but I know there's a library here that has some connection with me, and that will bind me to Trinity University for a long, long time. I'm at a loss of words to say thank you, except over and over again, this is a manifestation of the kind of goodwill I've encountered year in and year out. Even though, as you looked at those pictures, you saw some of my gesticulations when I'm speaking, some of them looked like I was about to do violent harm to someone. <laughs> it really only was my Latin temperament suggesting that I was feeling strongly on a particular point. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The ideas behind the presentation I appreciate enormously from the good people who volunteered, I'm sure, and who have spent their time thinking about what possible good thing can I say about this guy? They really did a beautiful job.